Price Park, a home away from home for the lucky few who know of it. While meandering on a storybook back road, you round a corner and come to a small gated drive with a sign reading Price Park. The drive quickly reveals a parking lot placed between cornfields and a thick forest. In the early winter, the morning sky is hinting with clouds and cold remnants of dew on the grass, revealing a pathway into the woods. There is a sign matching the one at the front road reading Matilda Schreiner Woods, the point where your journey begins. To the left and right, bramble-filled walls lead to the first fork in the road. Colored markers lead you through the many different paths. Many of these cross and intersect, leaving notes of each other along the way. The main path, marked by red posts, leads you through a multitude of rich Wisconsin scenery. Taking a left, you will embark on a trail leading you first into real Wisconsin marshland. The early winter has left its mark on the once green vegetation. The dried golden vastness is broken up only by hints of lingering fall berries and resilient moss covered rocks. It also serves to remind us that nothing lasts forever. Embedded between the marsh and the forest is a small spring fed lake that drains into a beaver dam filled stream. The lake serves as a resting point for already weary legs. Those ready to venture on will cross the first bridge and become enveloped by an oak-strewn forest. Here, creek beds and leaves have long since dried up. Again, moss is the last greenery clinging to life. Leaves have massed trails and hills in the rocky forest floor. Amidst the leafy blankets, you will only be able to find your way by following the red markers placed off in the distance. To veer from these markers may lead you down into a valley on a rock-strewn riverbed, only to come out again by the lake opening. Even less life is apparent as you enter the depths of these trails. Few leaves still cling to the bare oak trees, a sign of snowy days to come. If you have not strayed from the trail, you will come to a marker planted in green moss and a valley break in the trees. Here lies tended paths through natural prairie fields. The hilly prairie is home to many small birds and insects that thrive here in the spring season. This time of the year, the only breakup of brown and gold is a green path leading up to the old house on top of the hill. The house is all that remains of the original homestead of the original landowners. Its windows have been boarded up, making the landmark a suitable place to rest and take in the beauty of landscape around it. You may be left with the notion that this isn't such a bad place to live. After resting, you continue on the red path into the grays of the forest, resembling an old English countryside. Brambles and small black leaves from various trees break way to the straightly planted pine forest. Smells of pine sap and fresh cut pine trees begin to flood the forest path. Portions of dense forest have been cut away to make room for new growth in the spring. As you cross your final bridge, the trees begin to blend again. The distant sounds of highway traffic can be heard again as you approach the final leg of your journey. Here the fantasy ends and reality sets back in as signs of civilization begin to reappear. The end of the trail is marked by a line of invasive plants tracked in by peoples unaware. Ascending late evening into the parking lot, you realize that this journey is over. There is no reason to be saddened by this because regardless of this adventure's end, Price Park will be there again tomorrow, ready for a new one to begin.